Well, good morning. I'd like to begin sharing... The, the, the group will share with you our images of mythic figures that arose during our time. You are a contemplative master. Your stillness of mind and heart brings tranquility to a troubled world. Nothing can shake you. Your quiet wisdom touches the people and they sigh, yes, and smile. All is well. The sovereign is present. Does I see you as a mythic figure in a heroic story. As one who begins small against the odds, stalked by darkness, that you yield a tremendous light that is much greater than any oppressive force. You are strong, courageous, humble, and heart-centered. You bravely walk your path toward freedom and self-realization. This is Merlin talking to King Arthur. As king of the land, much will weigh upon you, but do not despair. You are the one called upon to bring justice, order, peace, and unity to all of England. But there will be knights, stewards, and prophets throughout the land to deliver your teachings and enforce your laws. With your empowerment, they will each perform their unique tasks within the mosaic of the mission you bring forth. As king now, you are called to usher England from a barren wasteland of poverty and chaos to a Camelot of abundance companionship and joy. But Camelot can only be birthed by you through your own inner growth and understanding that you must embody love, joy, and compassion in your life. Arthur and Camelot are, not, are one and the same. In order for Camelot to thrive, Arthur must thrive. And if, and if Arthur thrives, all of those subjects who have chosen to live in Camelot will thrive and learn to live in love, joy, and compassion. I see you as a mythical character from an ancient magical time where you are called the alchemist. In this story, your quest is to search for truth in the third dimensional world of form, a place that the inhabitants of the multiverse call planet Earth. After an unflagging journey of worldly tribulations and magical conquest, your epic is fulfilled when you realize that matter has no physical substance. Matter is composed of invisible vibrational elements, is divine spiritual creative energy. Victorious, you embrace the understanding that you are actually living in a loving, magical realm of endless possibility in heaven. Thank you for radiating so much light by spreading the wisdom you have and being what you preach. If Batman is someone who chose to fight the darkness on his own, you choose to spread the light as an individual and as a collective. Gotham can continue to exist while you build the new Atlantis. Wise woman, holder of shaman's medicine, one with spirit in nature. With your presence, you bring the wisdom of ages, calling forth a new earth. joyful queen. You serve by holding the space for all around you to live in their own joy and appreciation without fear and with the fullness that this shared joy engenders. I see you as a powerful, enlightened warrior who moves through their world with caring resolve and unfailing diligence. 
fulfilling the Sovereign's commission with intelligence and passion and bringing order and blessing to the realm. Savannah of the Jungle. Savannah is the guardian of the jungle. She flies through the air, watching over all the inhabitants, plants, animals, minerals, and humans, rescuing any beings in peril. Savannah does not judge, but maintains a peaceful state by sprinkling joy, humor, forgiveness, and gratitude while the jungle sleeps. Savannah is deeply loved throughout the land. You are a shining light of hope and inspiration, a magnificent force of cosmic connection and coordinated coherence, and an energetic powerhouse with the ability to purify distortions and bring hearts and minds into the light. Because of you, many great ones have awakened to know their own strength and inner goodness. You are a critical player in the game of awakening, empowering the warriors of light and connecting pieces of the puzzle that they might manifest in divine order. Thank you for your service. Aho. I invoke you, Dakini, from the other realm. You energize the world around you, drawing down a vision of the new into the atmosphere. Your path, you have flirted with all energy and alchemically translated that urge towards ecstasy into empowerment of mission. That is why I call you Mythic Dancing Messenger. 